Today I'm going to be creating a floating planet in the sky effect. So I have some footage here. I also have a photo of a planet and footage of some particles that I'm also going to be incorporating in the shot. So I'm going to start by importing my footage. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a motion track. Layer, new, null object. And this null object is what is going to have the motion track data applied to it. So click on your tracker tab, click track motion, select position and scale. And I'm going to place these trackers in two locations in the clouds. Now I'm going to shorten this video down to about four seconds, as well as the project's length. And I'm going to start my motion track. Okay, this motion track looks pretty good, so I'm going to edit target, set to null one, and click apply. Now we have our motion track data. So now I'm going to play it back to make sure that the motion track looks good. And it looks pretty good, so I'm going to import my planet image. Now I'm going to use the ellipse tool and create a mask around it to remove the black background. After this, I'm going to create a create an adjustment layer and I'm going to pre-compose the planet in the adjustment layer. Now I'm going to create a mask around the top left side of the planet and I'm going to invert it and increase the feathering. This is going to make the planet look like part of it's hidden. Now I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and pre-compose it one more time. And then I'm going to create another mask down at the bottom just to fade that section out a little bit too. So I'm going to be doing the exact same thing, inverting it, increasing the feathering. And I'm going to just tweak it until it doesn't look quite as hard in the corners. So now I'm going to scale this down a little bit. Put it where I want it to be, about right here. And parent it to null one. This is gonna apply the motion track data to the planet. So now I can make the null object invisible. And that completes the effect itself, but I am going to do one more thing. I'm gonna drag on some particles, set to screen to get rid of the black background. Draw a quick mask around it so that there's no hard edges and feather that out a little bit. Now I'm going to parent that to the null object as well and adjust the scale a little bit and decrease the opacity to about 50%. I'm only putting these particles in to have something in front of the planet to make it look like it's more a part of the shot. So the last thing I'm going to do is color grade this shot. I'm going to start by changing the um, brightness and contrast of the original footage and decreasing the contrast a bit. I'm just going to be prepping this for magic bullet looks. I'm going to do the same thing for the planet. and then just tweak it a little bit to make it blend good together. So the final thing, I'm going to pre-compose all of these layers and to make it look a little bit more realistic, I'm going to add some camera shake. So open up position, apply a keyframe to the start and the end 
select both of them and then in your wiggler tab I'm going to set the frequency to 5 per second and the magnitude to 12 and then I'm going to enable motion blur bring it up a little bit in size so that it doesn't get off from the so there's no black background on the corners when the camera shake is applied final step I'm going to use a plugin called Magic Bullet Looks. And I'm just going to select one of these presets. Drop the contrast down a little bit. And that's how I created the shot. If you like this video, subscribe for more After Effects tutorials in the future. And check out the links in the description so that you can download the videos and photos that I used and recreate this tutorial on your own.